and welcome back to the Mazak Smooth Cafe. Today, we're going to examine Mazak's optional G140 Smooth Engraving Macro. We know that engraving can easily be done using line or C-line text functions in Mazatrol, which can then be called as a subprogram from within a G-code program. However, the G140 macro provides a native engraving function completely within the G-code environment. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate exactly how to program the engraved text shown here in this very axis simulation. We'll demonstrate simple engraving on a part face as well as cylindrical and polar engraving using the C-axis. Now methods will vary slightly on other Mazak machines, but will be similar enough to what is presented here to easily adapt. This is the program we'll use for engraving on our part. In the first section, we use G54 set to X and Y center of rotation and Z set to the top of the part. This is fine for everything on the face. But on the outside of the part, we'll call G55 and use cylindrical interpolation. The G55 is the same in X and Y, but changes Z to the center of rotation of the A axis. The starting code is standard tool change and preparatory codes, so we'll get right to the first G140 command line. The first G140 engraves text in a simple horizontal line. The X, Y, and Z settings designate the beginning of the line and the Z plane to engrave on. The P setting chooses either 0 to place the text on the defined line, 1 to place the text above the defined line, or 2 to place the text below the defined line. The D setting is how deep to engrave the text from the Z plane. H is how tall each character will be. R is the tool retraction distance from the Z plane. L is the spacing between the characters measured at various places depending on the P value. In this case, a value of 1 in P means L is measured at the bottom of the character being engraved. The characters shown between the brackets are what to engrave. In this case, we're engraving simple text, but the command is much more powerful than that. Special codes can reference year, month, day, the parts counter, and macro variables. For example, if we enter M, D, T as shown, the current month, day, and time will be engraved. Note that special characters are not simulated. However, they will be engraved when the part is actually cut. To place a line at an angle, enter a K value for the angle. To engrave on an arc, add an I and J value to the arc center line. If you wish to use the C axis to engrave rather than X, Y, you need the G 12.1 polar interpolation option. Make sure you position to the start point before calling G140 or your text will be slanted. Working on the OD of a cylinder is just as easy, but requires the G7.1 cylindrical interpolation option. To orient the text upright as shown, use G51.1 Y0 mirror image. Everything else is the same as with the face for neatly wrapping text around a part, or set a value in K to wrap the text at an angle. There is more to the G140 engraving macro, but these are the basics. As you can see, engraving text in G-code is a bit more involved than in Mazatrol. But whichever way you wish to program, the smooth control has you covered for quick, easy engraving with your machine. From all of us here at Mazak, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time at the Mazak Smooth Cafe. Take care.